Hi, Risa. I'm Mizelle from The Upcoming. It's lovely to speak to you today. Uh, so congratulations on this film. So could you start by telling us a little bit about what it's like coming back for the second time and reimagining this horror sort of genre of the classic fairy tale? Oh, yeah, yeah, we're really, really excited because from following the like success of the first film, which is really well like across the world, we had like a theatrical in like America all the way to Australia. Um, that success has let us like bring up the budget from the first film a lot. So it's so much better in all departments now. We've got like better prosthetics, we've got like a better story, more better horror. So we're yeah, we're really excited for everyone to finally see this one. Yeah. And obviously you've had a little bit of a cast rehaul. So what was that like? And were they sort of specific people that you had in mind for those for those parts of Winnie the Pooh, etc.? Yeah. yeah, so we um yeah, we kind of recast the entire film. We needed some sort of changes for the second film. Um, and we've got a really, really good cast with this. So we have like Scott Chambers, who's currently on the on the platform now. Um, he's now the new Christopher Robin, um, and he's been in some like Malpractice, Dr. Jekyll, um, and he's got a really, really good performance in the film. We've got like the thespian Simon Callow, so he's in it. Um, so he has about a, a scene where he just basically talks for 10 minutes, but it's super captivating. Um, and everyone who's seen the film has kind of unanimously said the performances of, as a whole have just gone up drastically um, but part of that it's not just the actors experiences but also the fact like because we had a bigger budget um, it allows for more time on the film so we're able to you know give people more takes uh, we're able to like kind of cultivate the script a lot more to make the scenes more engaging blah 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 so and then you've got Lewis Santa coming on board as Tigger and I, I don't believe Tigger was in the first one yeah. so what's the choice for that and <laughs> what's it like bringing that character to life so yeah with Tigger he wasn't in the um, the original film and part of that is because the public domain element so the 1926 book came into the public domain and Tigger wasn't in that but he's in the 1928 version so because he's in that uh, we're able to bring him into this version of the film Lewis was like perfect for the role he was like messaging me like daily asking about it and saying how it's his dream character his inspiration is like Freddy Krueger mixed with Pennywise so which fit really well with me um, and we needed to give him some sort of like like unique characteristic compared to all the characters because there's four in this where I only really had two in the second one I had to try and think of something to make each one distinctly unique and with Tigger um, I wanted him to be very sadistic so uh, with Winnie the Pooh his job is just kill people as quick as I can and move on but Tigger enjoys it more um, so that's what we really got out of Lewis he was able to um, kind of torment the actors also <laughs> See, uh, aside from all the horror elements, it's obviously been a, a bit, of, a bit of fun as well working on this. So, what are some of the highlights of the set for you guys? It's such a, a brilliant ensemble cast as well. Yeah, yeah, no, um, definitely. Like, there's a big range with this film. Like, we have some scenes which are very dramatic. Uh, so, like with Simon Callow, like his scene was very, very dramatic and is like amazingly acted um, and um, we're going from that to some extremes where we've got about 20 people we're killing on a single night so <laughs> there is at the end of the film there's a big set piece where we have like a, a, a rave and there's an absolute massacre there who turns up with Al and they just destroy everyone so yeah that was that was quite a highlight it's super stressful but looking back we're like really excited so and obviously i believe you've got a remaking of bambi and peter pan on the rise as well what is it with this subgenre of, of taking a a classic fairy tale and just <laughs> ruining our childhood <laughs> yeah we've got uh bambi's already filmed so bambi's coming out in about uh, probably about four months, five months. Um, the director of that's actually going to be here. His name's Dan Allen, and we've already seen like like a rough car and some of the uh, the scenes he's like edited together, um, and he's done really, really well. So we're super excited for people to see that. Um, Bambi's an adult. He's going after the hunters, getting revenge, um, and then the next film is Peter Pan. We've got Scott, who's Christopher Robin and the producer of this as well. He's directing that one, uh, and yeah, Peter Pan's like it lends itself a lot to horror because ultimately it's some it's someone breaking into little kids bedrooms so yeah we've kind of taken that to the extreme as you can imagine so yeah we're super excited for uh, people to see that and we have more on the cards there's a big announcement on the 17th so in about seven days we're announcing one film which we think is going to make people go pretty crazy no, so yeah what's your hope viewers will take away from watching this when eating the poo rendition yeah so i think what people are going to see is a, a massive improvement relative to the first film because it's there's only so much you can do with certain resources you have so like on winnie one the principal photography was only 20 grand and that's like equivalent to a student film 
like it's not all budget but budget does make a big difference in what you can actually kind of work with um so in the second film because we had a higher budget following the success of the first we we're able to get like better creature designs uh, so they've all got prosthetics on now so their faces move they talk more it's not as much of a one piece so the one you see the actor in on the platform there that's just a single piece and that's from the first film uh, but the reason we couldn't use the second is because it's so um, patchy on their face it was it would just fall apart if we brought it in uh, but that's a really big improvement you can see from the trailer the creatures look way better also like the story so I got someone called Matt Leslie involved um, he wrote Summer of 84 and I loved Summer of 84 uh, so I got in touch with him and I was like do you want to work with me on it uh, and he was like he was really game for it so we obsessed over it for about five months before we shot it um, so the story is way better, the performances, we had more time, so they're really, really solid. The horror is insane, like we've got a kill count of, it must be over 50 people. And you know, some films only do about three or four people, so it's absolutely relentless. <laughs> well, thank you so much for speaking to me. I hope everyone enjoys it um, this evening <laughs> and uh, good luck with all the other projects as well. Thank you very much for speaking to us, thank you. Sorry, thanks so much. Thank thanks you. Bye.